you're my favorite designer, oh. Tanya Nayak. How are you? I'm great. It's so good to talk to you again. How are you? I am fine, and happy holidays to you. And I want my audience to know that Tanya Nayak is the go-to designer. You see her on HGTV. You see her on the Food Network. And I heard she had a show called Billion Dollar Block. i got to ask her about that one. Tanya, it's the holidays. What are you talking about with moms and the holidays? Oh, boy. Well, with the holidays, it's all about de-stressing your life. We know how hectic it can be. So to me, it's really important when you're renovating and you're updating that you're doing things that are manageable, that you'll be also making your life more efficient and more functional before you have all of these holiday guests come over. It is really important. And then you don't want to look like, you know, you want to look come off looking good. So sure. how, how do we do this? <laughs> well, some of the more manageable size projects that you could tackle, the reason I say this is because one of two things, either you can do it yourself, but if you're not that savvy, hire a professional to come in. But this is a kind of project that when they come, they're in and they're out in one day. So they're not coming in and having to leave, you know, like ripping up a floor and then coming back so that the stress is gone. You've updated your kitchen really quickly. And what that is, is replacing the kitchen sink. If you have an older one, if you have a faucet that sprays everywhere, think about changing your sink and your faucet. And the two that I love, they're both from Moen. The, the sink itself, it's called the Low Profile Divide. And Valder, I don't know if you've ever seen this before. Have you seen this where the divider in the middle is lower? No, I haven't. It's so great. Like you now have the organization where things are separate, but that you can also wash your huge pots and pans and your baking sheets and all of that that are very difficult. Your cutting boards, you know, when you're actually having that high divider in the middle. So that I love that sink. And then for the faucet, I feel that people don't realize how many of your guests are actually looking at the faucet. It's like a piece of jewelry in the kitchen. So this here, this one's called the notch pull down. And as you can see, it's really tall. It has a nice height to it so that you can get underneath it. You can scrub your dishes, but you also have this part right here, the head that's retractable and moves around real easily. And then the key to it is that it is a jewelry in your kitchen. So you want to make sure it looks pretty. And this has all these great sleek lines to it. So it does add that little bit of sexiness, <laughs> if you will, into the kitchen. But it does. It really does. The faucet makes the sink. If, you know, if I clean my sink and don't shine up the faucet, it, it's just something missing. Totally. So you're right. It's like jewelry. Right. So it's good. I it's love good that. to think that I way and realize that. those little details go a long way. But when they're good ones like these, then you know your holiday parties are going to be better. You're just going to have a little bit more efficiency in the kitchen as well. All right, then. I'm going for looks totally. But anyway, what else do you have? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I always try to think outside the box. Like, what do I have that I could use to not spend too much money, but that can also make it more functional? So over here, what I used was the hand towel rack that I would normally use in my bathroom next to the sink. I just put it up here on my kitchen cabinet because what do we do with this space Anyways, put a hand towel rack there so now your towel is within reach. You're washing your hands. You can use your towel so it makes it super easy. And, um, you know, for the holidays, you can do festive towels, so that also adds a little decor. Um, and on this side, I have a robe hook. So the robe hook, I'm hanging my apron. And I love the idea of using things that I'm going to be using during the party as part of my artwork. So my apron hangs here, but in off season, I can put mugs there, you know, uh, measuring cups, anything that you might access quickly and easily. So it's a great I love tip. that, Tanya, because, you know, those are such a for all of the, everything you've talked about, but those two are such affordable right. changes you can do to liven up your uh, holiday look. Mm -hmm. I totally agree, and I'm all about that. Save money, don't stress, and make it functional. And make it look All right, pretty. you got one more for us? Sure. You know what? When it comes to adding uh, holiday decor, don't be afraid to bring in some pops of color. But I love things that don't require watering. So I go to the backyard, I get branches, I cut them, I put them in a vase, and then I put them in a jar. But, you know, I have tons of ideas. And if you go to, uh, there's one website in particular that I love to go to. It's called build.com. And that's a great place to find these products. But if you want inspiration, go to moen.com. You'll see a lot of great kitchen inspiration. 
All right, and where can we find out some more about what you're doing? I want to hear about this billion-dollar oh, show that you you're doing, what? billion billion-dollar <laughs> block or something like that. The one that I'm doing right now is on ABC, and it's called The Great Christmas Light Fight. It's on every Monday ah. from 8 to 10 p.m. But I'm so happy I got to talk to you, Valder, again. I can't wait to see you again. Thank you so much, Tanya Nayak, the best designer I know. Aww, thank you. Thank you.